In this experiment, we're going to be investigating the effect of the enzyme phosphorylase on glucose 1-phosphate. Now, phosphorylase is what we call a synthesis enzyme. It joins small molecules together to make larger ones. And phosphorylase should join glucose 1-phosphate molecules together to form starch. And we can test for the presence of starch using iodine solution because if starch is present, our iodine solution will turn a blue-black colour from the original kind of brown colour that you can see. So I've already set up some of this experiment. What I haven't added in yet is any of the actual enzyme phosphorylase. Now you can see that we've got three rows going. So the first one is our glucose 1-phosphate and phosphorylase. That's the one that based on what we know, we would expect starch to form. So we're going to put that in and then at zero minutes, three minutes, six minutes and nine minutes, we are going to add iodine solution to see if starch has yet formed. Because remember, enzyme controlled reactions do take time to happen. Then the second row has got glucose 1-phosphate and distilled water. Now that's what we call a control. That row is there to prove that glucose 1-phosphate does not turn into start all by itself. It's the presence of the phosphorylase that's doing that. The reason that we add water is to keep our experiment valid because we're adding a volume of a substance that we know will have no effect. And the last one is also a control. This time the enzyme phosphorylase is in with distilled water. Again, two substances to make sure that the volume is the same. And what that row is going to do is hopefully prove that phosphorylase does not turn into starch by itself. The only combination that will produce starch is glucose 1-phosphate and phosphorylase. So I'm going to add phosphorylase to the first row and the last row and then we're going to start the timer. Okay, so timer in place and we're going to add a few drops of phosphorylase to this row here. Now, phosphorylase is something, an enzyme that we get from potatoes because potatoes are able to turn glucose made during respiration into starch. Because we all know that potato is a starchy food. So, we'll start our stop clock now. And what we'll do is add iodine to the first row and see if any starch is currently present. So, as we can see... No colour change, therefore no starch is currently present. So we're getting close to the three minute mark, so we're going to add some iodine now. And again, that's three minutes, we have got no colour change, showing that at that point in the reaction, no starch is present. Okay, let's have a look at six minutes and see if any starch has formed. Not at present, so another three minutes and then we'll do the last one and find out if any starch is present. Okay, let's have a look at nine minutes and see if we have any starch present. Well, you can see there we've got a colour change in that top row, which shows that starch has been formed by the action of the enzyme phosphorylase on glucose 1-phosphate.